What's going on? My name's Jay, and today I'm going to show you how to get smoother playback in DaVinci Resolve. Let's take a look. If you've been watching my channel for the last few months, you've probably heard me say that I edit on a pretty subpar laptop, and every once in a while, DaVinci can get a little bit laggy. Sometimes I just have too much color grading on the footage, sometimes it's just laggy for apparently no reason. And judging by what I've read in the comments of my videos, a lot of you have had this same problem, and that's why today I'm going to show you four different ways to make your playback smoother in DaVinci Resolve. Let's dive in and take a look. Okay, we're here in DaVinci Resolve. I've got some clips queued up. It's the same familiar clips of people having fun at a fair. The first thing we're gonna do in order to smooth our playback is go over into playback. We're gonna go into proxy mode and we're gonna choose quarter resolution. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna lower the resolution on our playback to hopefully make it a little bit smoother. But as you can see, it's actually still a little bit choppy. So the next thing that we're gonna do, the next easiest thing to do is to delete our render cache from this project. So once again, we're gonna come up to playback and we're gonna go to delete render cache and we're gonna hit all. It'll ask you if you are sure you want to delete the render cache and you just hit yes. And we'll see if that works. Not quite, still pretty choppy. The next thing we're gonna do is delete all of the render cache from all of our projects in DaVinci Resolve. So we're gonna come down here to our project settings, which is this little gear in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. We're gonna come into master settings, go down until we find working folders. We're gonna hit browse on cache files location to figure out where all of our render cache is. The, whatever the top location is here is where all your render cache is. And so now that I have that, I can go into my files explorer and I can find that file and normally there would be a folder here that says DaVinci Resolve and that's where all my render cache would be but I actually just went through this the other day and deleted all of it and haven't edited a project since but normally what you would do I'll go ahead and do it with all of the stills that I've saved for my projects and I'll go ahead and just select all of my rendered clips gonna right click and hit delete. Let's get out of that. Go ahead and hit cancel, cancel, get out of the project settings. Let's try playing back one more time. And you can see that the playback is still pretty choppy. So the last thing we're gonna try is using optimized media. And to do this is a little bit more complicated than the other methods I showed you, but it's still pretty easy. The first thing we're gonna do is come down to project settings. We're gonna make sure we're in master settings. We're gonna come down to optimize media and render cache. We're gonna keep everything here the same. If you're working on a Mac, you'll wanna choose a ProRes optimized media format. Make sure your optimized media format and your render cache format is the same. I'm gonna go ahead and cancel that. We're gonna come over to our media pool and we're just gonna select all of our clips. I'm gonna right click. We're gonna click Generate Optimized Media and then we're just gonna wait for that to be done. It usually takes a couple minutes. And once that's done creating optimized media, we're gonna come back up to playback. We're gonna make sure used optimized media if available is checked. And now if we play back, it'll be a little bit lower resolution, but the playback should be a lot smoother. By the way, I've got a playlist of a whole bunch of DaVinci Resolve tutorials, a lot of tips and tricks to help your editing go faster, a lot of different things that you can do with your videos. If you wanna check that out, it's linked right up here. And down here, you'll find a video that YouTube thinks you should watch. And if you wanna learn more about video editing, camera gear, and how to make better videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so you don't miss anything. Cool? Cool. I'll talk to you later.